Three and a half years out, the race for Missouri governor has begun. Democratic State Attorney General Chris Costa confirmed Tuesday that he is planning to seek the state's top office in 2016 when fellow Democrat Jay Nixon, who won his second term just six months ago, will be forced out by term limits. Are you serious? Didn't we just re-elect Jay Nixon? Is this really necessary to do this now, Dave Helling? Not really. It, it, so why way, is he doing it? Well, okay. uh, first of all, no one doubted that, that uh, Chris Coster was going to run for governor. I mean, it, this was not exactly headline news. Uh, I do think he's doing it early for a couple of reasons. First, you can sort of clear the field, chase other Democrats, potential Democrats out away from this, this campaign and raise some money, which I always think, Nick, is quite problematic, in my view, for the attorney general of all actors in our political system, for, in essence, Chris Coster now, to be raising money for a governor's race while he is the top law enforcement officer in the state of Missouri, I think is just unseemly, and he might have waited. But, but you know, this is classic stuff, clear the field, raise a lot of money, preempt any opposition, and get ready for the 2016 race. That isn't unusual. Eric. He's been running for for right. a governor for 10 years. Right. He actually really as a Republican. As a Republican. <laughs> and the line was too long as a Republican. So he's changed parties, became a Democrat, went the attorney general's route. The next step is the governor. So he's been, he didn't just wake up and say, I think I want to be governor. The, the, the more, he's been running for yeah. this for like the 10 years. The more interesting years. discussion going forward is who the Republicans will put up because it isn't clear exactly what so the order of succession. So who is the Republican well, going Tim to Jones, be you hear Tim Jones, uh, who is the speaker, you hear Blake Lutkemeyer, who is a congressman from central Missouri, he, he might make the race. I think Peter Kender has pretty much given up any hope of ever being governor, having dropped out last time. So I think there will be some pushing and shoving on the Republican side. Uh, the Democrats are trying to avoid that. Uh, Jackson County Executive Mike Sanders now going to be running for the vacant attorney general's. Uh, position now in the state of Missouri? I don't know. He's always I mean, fancied a statewide position, hasn't he, Mary? Some people say. Um, I mean, we'll, again, wait and see. It, it's quite possible. I think a lot of people would really like to see him try that. It's kind of sad, though, that this is now created, though, this, if we didn't already know it, uh, this per perennial constant election cycle where there is never one breath that we are not in an election cycle. Well, in Stacey. Missouri, it's largely a part of the campaign finance contribution laws where there are really no contribution limits in the state of Missouri. Today. So, today. today. so get your so money now. Get your money now while you can because if it's capped at some point in time over the next three years, you're going to be behind the eight ball. And right now, if he's got the field cleared, he's the only one garnering that money, and so he has a head start. And as long as those campaign laws are written the way they are in Missouri, this is going to be an endless campaign cycle, period. But the question is, does he get along with other Democrats? Because some Democrats still view him as a transformer coming over from the Republican Party into the Democratic Party. He pretty much flies under the radar, so it'll be interesting to see how the other right. people and in the Eric, party that's why, it. And that's, of course, why clearing the field is so important, because without a major challenger, the Democrats really have no choice. They may not like Chris Coster, but they sure like having the governorship. And so, uh, again, if you take uh, undertake this early enough, you get everyone else out of the race, you raise lots of money, you preempt opposition in your party, that's Coster's calculation on. Obviously. I like to see what his ex-wife is going to do. Yeah. yeah. yeah well. <laughs>